Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is how to do picture in a picture. And today we're using Premiere Elements 15, but this will be good for previous versions and future versions as well. Okay, let's get into it. First thing we need is some media. So let's go ahead and add some media to the old project. I have a folder set up on my desktop here. I'm gonna grab a song and two clips of video. Okay, once they're in your assets folder here, so what you need is the main video in the video one track here. Okay. And you need the video that's going to be the smaller video in the picture in a picture on top of that. So that's very important. It can be in video track two, it could be three, it could be wherever, as long as it's above it. So let me go ahead and lower the volume so we don't get distracted here. And let me expand this one here and lower that one as well. I'm going to expand this clip so we can actually see what it looks like and we'll resize it just a bit. I like mine nice and big. <laughs> okay. So what you do is once you put that clip on top of it, it's going to actually replace the video. Watch it switch here. It basically covers up the one below it. So any video that's above it will cover the video that's below it. And that's how most video editors work these days. So what we're going to do is we'll click on that video here and go to the image here. And sometimes these will appear automatically. If not, just click on it. And now you'll be able to resize this video. And you'll notice that we're exposing the video behind it. And then you can move it around anywhere you need to. And that is creating picture in a picture in Adobe Premiere Elements. So let's go ahead and play it real quick. And you'll see it pops up, stays for the duration. And then when it's finished, it kind of just disappears. So if you wanted to do multiple, let's grab that same video here. We'll drag it in the next video track above it. And now you'll notice again that it's covering the two videos below it. So we'll have to resize this one by just clicking here. Let me go ahead and turn the volume down and we'll get some more room here. There we go. And we'll expose that as well. So click on that video, go over here and then resize that one. And then you can move that one wherever you want. Okay, so now you can create multiple pictures in a picture pretty much indefinitely. That's one of the best things about Premiere Elements versus iMovie. iMovie limits you to one without kind of jumping through hoops to do it all. But Premiere Elements will let you do as, pretty much as many as you need. I haven't tested the limit on it, but two to three to four, definitely you can do that. Any more than that, I think it's kind of unnecessary except for rare circumstances. So I want to show you one more thing. Let's go ahead and delete this one extra one here. I want to show you how to add a little transition to it. So we want to, I want it to kind of slide in instead of just pop in. So what you're going to do is have to go to the FX icon over here, click on that. And we're going to go to advanced adjustments and I like to hit show all. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're looking for that PIP. And I want it PIP slide in from the top left. Okay, so if you, if you hover your mouse over it, it'll show you actually what it's gonna do. This is exactly what I want it to do. So we're gonna click and grab and drag that and drop it right on that video here. And then once you play it, you'll see that it actually slides in. Here, let me close that. Let's show you that one more time. You'll see that it slides in from the left, okay? Okay, well, that's it. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace and aloha.